The next pose is called plow pose. This is a really great way to stretch out through the back of the neck. Also strengthens the back and um, just really, really great way to work on your flexibility. It's also a precursor to a shoulder stand if you um, are working towards adding inversions to your practice. So for plow, you can start with your feet on the floor, arms alongside the body, with control lower down onto your back. Move your hair out of the way, it's in your way. When you're ready, you're just going to take the feet up off the floor, use your abdominal muscles to bring your knees up. Immediately support your low back with your hands and take your feet overhead. You can keep your hands to your low back or arms alongside the body. Be mindful not to do what I'm doing and that's to look to the side. You want to keep your chin to the center so that you don't compromise your neck. Reach your feet as far overhead as you can while still maintaining a deep breath. To come out of this pose, you can use your hands as brakes alongside your body or you can support your low back with your hands. It's a very good way to strengthen your abdominals. You can come out with your legs straight, really nice and slow, coming down through the natural curves of the spine. To make it a little easier, you can always bend your knees. Press into your hands. Make sure you don't allow the head to snap up. Just keep your head and upper back on the floor and just come down nice and slow with control. 